thank you, thank you. Give it a try and brighten my screen up. I can't find where my, oh, I'm supposed to have had my operation. Yeah, settings, there it is. So I can see screen brightness. There we go, much better. All right, children. So let's get started with praise and worship. Amen. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly trust in Jesus' name. My hope is
Amen. Praise the Lord. All right, now don't you be making that a habit. Okay. All right, babies. Uh, who's going to help us to open in prayer this morning? I would. You know what I'm saying? You want to pray? Uh, so, Noah, Naomi, y'all go ahead, my babies. Lord, thank you for this um, day. Thank you for. Friday, down the 18th. Thank you for this wonderful power we get, get together with the Holy Word. Let manifest with our souls, change our everyday lives. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for this day. Thank you for everything that you've done for us. Thank you for letting us be seated at your table, learning more about you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Yes, we love you, Lord Jesus, and, and we thank you. We thank you for this opportunity for devotion and, and discipleship. And uh, we're, we're so thankful for, for your word uh, that, that is just made so, so evident and, and clear before us. And we thank you, your Holy Spirit, for, for uh, shedding light, uh, being an awesome counselor, um, and, and just instructing us in, in growth and in wisdom uh, towards your word, dear Jesus. Uh, please allow us to, to grow individually. Uh, and collectively uh, as a family, uh, as your body of Christ, uh, so that we may do some pretty awesome things in, in your name, dear Jesus. We love you. In your precious name we pray. Amen. 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 So, a little bit of a review. Just a little bit. JW, you had your hand raised first. Go ahead, sir. So, what we're talking about is that we're talking about how... Um, How we're reading on um, chapter three. Oh, sorry, four. Well, chapter four. Y'all already have your Bibles open. Like, y'all are cheating. Well, I, I know, I know. Noah, go ahead, sir. Okay. okay. Let's talk about at the end part how. Uh, no, dear. Uh huh. And um, that when that his word is is um appears and it goes and it goes and and it divides from your soul and from your spirit. And also, I was talking about the um, the rest, right? Yes, a lot of rest. And you got your hand raised, Naomi? All right, let, let me let Naomi answer just a little bit. I know. Thank you. Thank you. What you got, Naomi? So it was talking about rest, and it's talking about that, um, it's talking about that, um, there will never enter a scorch of rest. Mm -hmm. And it was talking about, about, about the rest. Mm hmm and, and the sad thing is, is that uh, that time is gone and the promise is gone. No one can enter God's place of rest. No. Excuse me? Sorry, because um, it also says that it was close for them at that time, but it still stands. No, it's, it's gone forever. No, it's like no stands. one can ever enter that promise. Mm -mm. You sure? Yes. You sure? say that oh that's right there in the first verse god's promise of entering his rest still stands so we ought to tremble with fear that some of you might fail to experience it oh well good job jw all right he was the only one that challenged daddy i said the promise was gone and y'all was like yeah i guess we ain't never gonna get no rest no he was the only one that challenged, and, and you did it respectfully. Thank you, Jada. You raised your hand. You didn't say, no, Daddy. Mm -mm. The promise still stands, all right? And we can enter his rest if we're faithful, if we're obedient until the end. Amen? Come on now. If we're faithful, hey, 
We can we can go to that special place, that special place that God went on the seventh day of creation, and He rested there. Can you imagine? I, it must have been some good rest, okay? It must have been so so awesome and and peaceful. I'm talking about that place but must have been better than than Eden. I I would really like to go there. All right. I would love to go there. That would be pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Okay, so we talked about the rest. The promise still stands. Uh, we got a little bit further. Noah, thank you for, for hitting up uh, and start with verse 12 because we're going to go back over those verses. You got something else, sir? Yes, sir. What you got? And about the, um, the Jew, the Jewish people still, still have a Another rest left open for them, and that is the Sabbath day of rest. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, and and it says that God still opened an additional an additional day of rest. So show me that verse. Where, where did I? Where I missed that? At? Um, Hebrews what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chapter, verse, sir. Chapter Number and verse. Four, four, Chapter four, and nine. verse. Four nine. Four, four nine. nine. Okay. So you see that that Sabbath is 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 left open for God's people. The one who entered God's rest is also rested from his works, just as God rested from his own. All right. So, verse eight. We'll go over that one more time. Now. If Joshua had excuse me, if Joshua had succeeded in giving them this rest, God would not have spoken about another day of rest still to come. So there is a special rest still waiting for the people of God. All right, for all who have entered into God's rest have rested from their labors just as God did after creating the world, all right? And so for, for the people of God, all right? So there's there's a special, so there's a special rest. We, we talk about special rest, all right, for, for the people of God. So let us do our best to enter that rest. But if we disobey God, as the people of Israel did, we will fall, all right? So now, does yours... I actually say, uh, yeah, I know, well, here in, in the Old Testament, when it says for, for the people of God, it's usually talking about, um, yes, the, the Israelites, yeah. all right? So your, your Bible says, says the Israelites, and it says that they entered it. No. It says, it says, so you see that Sabbath rest is left open for God's people. It's another rest that's, yes. that's still that's still open for them. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. All right. So so that that Sabbath rest. So mine. Let me let me get my my KJV. Give me a second. Um. Hold on a second. I, I'll go to it from here. Give me one second. I can pull it up. Oh, I don't have it downloaded on this Bible. Open the version I have. Yeah, do that. All right, Hebrews 4, start with verse 8. For if Jesus had given them rest, then would he not uh, afterward have spoken of another day? All right. There remaineth, therefore, a rest to the people of God. Hold on a second now. Why, why are they switching up on me? JW, get my Bible, please. Please get, get my KJV up there. Uh, Did it say Jesus? Yeah, so. Yes, it's mine says Joshua. Mine says Joshua. All right, and the KJV says Jesus. All right, so that's what I'm trying to figure out. What's, what's, what's going on here? Because I know in the other. 
in the other uh, translations we were just reading, it said Joshua, right? So what? And guess what? Joshua and Jesus are not the same people. So why are they going back and forth with us like that? They both have J's. Yeah, they, of course they both have J's. Um, let me see, verse 8. And yeah, so it says, verse 8, For if Jesus had given them rest, then would he not afterward have, uh, have spoken of another day? There remaineth therefore a rest to the people of God. All right? And so, yeah, now this is the, this is, yeah, this is an Old Testament. Yeah, forgive me. So, re reference in the Old Testament, but this is, this is the New Testament in Hebrews. And yeah, and so it, it definitely would have been applicable for, for Jesus to be talking. Hold on, babies. I might have opened up a can of worms. Uh, there remaineth, therefore, a rest to the people of God. For he that is entered into his rest, he also hath caused from his own works as God did himself. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same examples of unbelief. So, I, I gotta go to uh, my Johnny Gill. Give me one second, please. All right. I gotta go to John Gill's. Did I save it in here? Yeah, I sure did. I saved. Genesis goes through all the books. Praise the Lord. Philippians, Timothy, Hebrews, James. Click on that. Hebrews chapter 4, starting with verse 8. All right. Okay, so listen. So, for if Jesus had given them rest, all right, so listen what it says here. Uh, uh, in verse 8, that is Joshua, uh, that is Joshua, for Hosea, Joshua and Jesus are one and the same name. Or Jesus himself, as two of Stephen's uh, copies read. And so Joshua is called Jesus by the Septuagint interpreters on Exodus 17.10 and 24.13 and other places where he is mentioned. And also by Josephus and Philo, or Philo, that's with a P-H. I L O, all right, and so um, I, I'm not sure how. Uh, I, I guess back then Joshua and Jesus were semi interchangeable. Um, that's also why. Well, technically, well, like I said, uh, the J wasn't part of the Hebrew Israelites um, vocabulary. Um, so technically, Jesus' real name is. Yeshua. Can y'all say Yeshua? Yeshua. Yeshua. Yes. Yeshua. So, all right. So, so, but we did learn something. Uh, Joshua and and Jesus. All right. Can be. Uh, so let me move Yeshua. a little bit for it. Hebrews four nine. All right. There remaineth therefore a rest for the people of God. Not all my mankind nor the people of the Jews only, rather the people of God, both Jews and Gentiles, under the New Testament, the people whom God has loved with a special love, has chosen in Christ and given to him, with whom he has made a covenant in him, and whom Christ saves from their sins and calls by his grace, and the rest which remains for them is not a new Sabbath day, but a Sabbatism. 
Ooh, okay, we got another new word. Not, not a new Sabbath day, but a Sabbatism. And this does not uh, so much design eternal rest in heaven, though the Jews often call that a Sabbath. Um, okay, so I didn't know that. So so the, the, the Jewish people in their faith, they call eternal rest in heaven sort of like another Sabbath. But uh, the rest which remains for them is not a new Sabbath day, but a Sabbatism. All right? And this does not so much design eternal rest in heaven. All right? The 92nd Psalm, they say, is a psalm for the time to come, which is which is all Sabbath and the rest of eternal life. But rather, this intends the, the, intends the spiritual rest believers have in Christ under the gospel dispensation, which they now enter into and which the apostle had been treating. And as for the word remaineth, this does not denote the futurity of it, but the apostle's interference or consequence from what he had said. And the sense is, it remains therefore, and it is a certain fact, a clear consequence from what has been observed, that there is another rest distinct from God's rest on the seventh day, and from the rest in the, uh, and from the rest in the land of Canaan, which were both typical ones, I don't know what he's doing, so the Jews call the word world to come, the times of the Messiah, the great Sabbath. All right, so you hear that? So the Jewish people call the world to come, uh, the world to come, the times of the Messiah, the great Sabbath. All right, so we have like a Sabbath. So, so we have a Sabbath here, all right? like a Sabbath day, um, and I know that people make it on, on Sunday, right? But technically, all right, technically, um, and, and it's, uh, and, and it's uh, shared by um, people of the faith, the, the Seventh Day Adventists, all right? You remember when we went to uh, church on a Saturday once, uh, a Seventh Day Adventist church, and, and guess what? Technically, all right, the Sabbath is on a Saturday, not Sunday, all right? Technically, the week starts, it's supposed to start on, on Sunday. So it's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all right? And you can honestly, you can see that detailed in how, uh, how they do most calendars, right? Even this calendar right here. What day does it start on? Sunday. Sunday. Mm-hmm. All right. And in most calendars that you see, from left to right, it starts with the Sunday. All right. So, so why everybody switched everything up and and uh, you know switched the the true Sabbath to to Sunday? All right. You know, man has not done a lot of things to fit their you know, their worldly needs, okay? For instance, like time going back and forth. Do you know why we have time go back and forth? Yes. Why? For the, for the farmers. For farmers, all right? So that we'll have a little bit of extra time in the morning or a little bit of extra time in the evening to, to harvest our crops. And it won't disrupt our schedule, you know, so much, right? But, you know, some people in the nation... They don't move their clocks around. They keep their clocks the same all year round. Okay? So it's a little different, right? But that's something that man has done to manipulate the clocks. So it's like, oh, well, well is, it, is it really 6.58 right now in the morning? Well, who knows? You know, it's different to, to some different people. Because of daylight savings times, but you see how how hey everyone j just because everyone comes together and and votes on something and says hey we're we're going to change this time around and we're going to move it back an hour. Does that make it right? 
No. Okay, I'm just, I'm just saying, hey, if God ordained the Sabbath to be on on a Saturday, all right, and everyone comes together and has a consensus, hey, you know, we want to work Monday through Friday and then take off and have a good long weekend, but you know what? We don't want the first day we take off via Sabbath. We'll just keep that towards the last day so we can go out and still have a whole bunch of fun on on Saturday, but then get some rest on Sunday and go back to work on Monday. It makes a whole lot of sense, right? Yeah. But just because a whole bunch of people come together and vote on it, does that make it right? No. 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 Well, uh, it's my little, little baby. Here, 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 play with daddy something. Um, well, what if you all decided that, that this was going to be a democracy here? All right? Like, it's only two, two of us parents, right? <laughs> Just me and your mother. Hey, how you doing, dude? Uh huh. Yeah, put it up, please. And then go ahead and put your clothes on. So, what if, what if you all decided that, hey, according to a democracy, hey, the majority of the vote wins. And there's only two of me and your mother. There's only two parents. And how many children is it? Eight. So what if you all decided to vote and, and wow, what, we, what would y'all vote on? I, I know what, what would you vote on. on? That instead of resting for two days, you rest for five days and work for two. Oh, wow. Okay, so we would rest for five days and work for two days. And so you're only doing your chores for two days, all right? Sounds good, everybody? No, it's the animals. Sounds good? Well, that, that's what J.W.'s doing. Did, did all I right, mean, he's going to vote animals? on it. Well, where are we guys? So I would be on your side. On my side? I'll be on your side. Yeah, yeah. but it's, it's a democracy. Well, that t well, give me a vote on something, J.W., that you think you would be able to get all of their, uh, all of their votes to support you in this democracy. What about TV every night? No. TV every night? Yes. Tablets, video no. games? No. Tablet no. every night. Oh, oh, you come out of nowhere. Just come out of the woodworks for that. Go and put your clothes on, mister. No. Go on, sir. No. You going to get dressed? No. No. You want to stop looking on me? <laughs> like, yes. <laughs> so, uh... Um, that there's nothing, JW. So you, They're just not gonna say yes because they know it's a trick. Yeah, I know. Well, y'all vote on something, please, mm -hmm. just so we can go along with this this experiment. Okay, okay, okay. I know, I know, I know. Don't say it. Vote on something. Come on, JW. I'm waiting for Noah. Chicken pox. Oh. Chicken pox. Oh, 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 oh. Why are we voting on chicken pox, <laughs> Naomi? <laughs> you want everybody to get sick? Oh. Stop. Okay, okay, stop. <laughs> We're going to eat um, jerk every night. And Chinese food every night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, 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 yeah. So <laughs> Chinese and cake and ice cream every, every night. night. Yeah, and peach clobber. And peach cobbler every night. All right, uh, all all in favor, all in favor of the Brown family ratifying, you know this uh, th this new decree. Chinese food every night. Go ahead, raise your hands. All in favor, Kaylin, Naomi. Well, I know Olivia and Judah, so that that's five. That, that's five. Five versus. Three. I mean, sorry. Four, and six, Isaiah. Seven. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> six. So that, that, that's six to ten. So democracy wins. Okay. So Chinese every night. All right. Yeah, but that's just going to waste all the money. Mm. So let me ask who, who's baking these cakes every night? No one tries. Who's, no. Paying for the, who's paying for the money to get? All the sugar, powder, yeah, who's and all, the all the flour. The Chinese. Who's Maybe. paying to go to Golden China and getting all the money? Well, I'm just saying, well, 
Chinese food, yeah, it's a special treat. But when we get Chinese food for a family as big as ours, it costs about sixty dollars. All right. So there's thirty days out of the month, right, Noah? Yeah. What's six times three? Oh, six, six times. times three. That's eighteen. One hundred and eighty dollars. Yep, and carry the zero. No, it's one hundred and eighty dollars for three days. Eighteen hundred dollars for thirty days. Now, now I want you to carry another number. All right. Times 12. Times 10 months out of the year. No, it's 12 months. No, we're going to get there. Times 10, that's $18,000 plus another two months plus another $3,600. $1,800 times two. What? All right. So now we're at $21,600 for Chinese. And that, that oh, oh, no, 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 baby, don't you rip that Bible sheet. And that doesn't, that doesn't count. I'm just saying, the cake. That, that doesn't count all the cake. But no, also, it's really 13 months in a year. Okay, well, why are there 13 months in a year? Because four, four weeks times 13 months equals 52 weeks. There's 13 weeks plus Dad. three months. Okay. Well then, if if we want to do it by the by the week, I mean it's potato potatoes, all right. But we get it. It's about twenty thousand dollars, all right. So uh, now now with the dessert, all right. Okay. Now now who's baking the the cakes every single night? Who's buying all, all right. the sugar? Buying all the ingredients for the cake, but also also all of this extra sugar. With this cake and ice cream that y'all are eating every single day, uh, one reason why you all have so few of, of cavities is because, praise the Lord, uh, you your, your mother <laughs> rations out your sugar. She doesn't let you drink sugary drinks all day, every day. She doesn't let you uh, eat candy all day, every day. And uh, a lot of you know sh sh other types of sugary stuff, okay? Uh, so praise the Lord, you all don't have that many cavities, all right? Many other children your age that, that do do those things and, and don't practice healthy um, you know, hygiene as far as brushing their teeth, they have to worry about that stuff a lot, okay? And going to the dentist can be very, very expensive, all right? Just, you know, just filling in with one, uh, for one cavity, that can be pretty high up there, okay? Mm. So, um, it's a lot of things that sound good, and yeah, people vote on these things. Yeah. But just because people vote on them, all right, and there's a consensus, doesn't make it doesn't make it right. Because just like Jesus said, you have to measure the cost, all right. You, you gotta hey, you gotta think about this thing. Not just the immediate consequences. Oh, I'm going to be happy if I get what I want. But what about the long-term consequences? Right, babies? Yes, sir. What about the long-term consequences? And, and so that's what most people don't think about. And that's what I was just sharing with you. Uh, some of the long-term consequences. All right? Okay. All right, so... I how this... Um it's related to what's his name? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, how many democracies are related to why Joshua and Jesus swapped? Oh, uh, no, well, well, we, we were, yes, we were all also talking about the Sabbath. Oh, okay. okay. All right, yeah, we're also talking about the Sabbath. Let me finish this one last part, then we're going to get back to the word, all right? For he that is entered into his rest, uh, this is to be understood not of believers, nor of their entrance into the gospel rest, or into eternal rest. All right. All right. So, so there, there's a couple of different rests. All right. So there's uh, a gospel rest, um, and then eternal rest. So now, e eternal rest is. Okay, when, when we're no longer with these bodies, okay, any, any longer. 
Um, and then the gospel rest, um, yeah, I'm going to have to technically, is, that's talking about the Sabbath rest. But of the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. Enter into his rest. This is to be understood not of believers, nor of their entrance into the gospel rest, or into eternal rest, but of the Lord Jesus Christ. For a single person is only spoken of, and not and not many, as in uh, Hebrews four three, and the rest entered into is his own, which cannot be said of any other. And besides, a comparison is run between his entrance into rest and ceasing from his works, and God's resting the seventh day, and ceasing from his, which can only agree with him. And besides, Christ is immediately spoken of and at large described in verses 12 through 14, uh, how he entered into his rest, not when he was laid in, uh, in the grave, but when he rose from the dead and descended into heaven and sat down at the right hand of God as having done his work. And this is the ground and foundation of the saints. Rest under the gospel dispensation. For these words are a reason of the former, as appears by the causal particle for, and now being at rest. Ooh. So Christ had works to do, all right? So Jesus had work to do as well, all right? As preaching the gospel, performing miracles, and obtaining the redemption and salvation of his people. These were given... Uh, given him to do and he undertook them and he has finished them and so ceases from them as never to repeat them more they being done effectually stand in stand at no in no, no need of it all right so all right baby so what I'm learning is that uh, what we're learning is that there's multiple different rests all right and so now let us labor therefore to enter that rest. Lest any man fall after the same example of, of unbelief. All right? So let us labor, therefore, to enter that rest. All right? So not eternal rest. This is not to be entered into now, nor is an entrance into it to be obtained by, by labor. Okay? All right? So you see you got that because... Yeah. Our salvation is by works. Yes. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Ooh, no. got you. I got you. No, it is not. Our salvation is by faith. faith. Alone. In Christ alone. In Christ alone. Faith in Christ alone. Faith. All right. Yeah. To be yes. More specifically, thank you, Noah. Yes. So let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest. So what is that rest? So not eternal rest. Let's beatboxing over there. Not now. You you shaking like you dancing. Give me one second now. So not eternal rest. This is not to be entered into now. So eternal rest is not to be entered into now. All right. Say not now. Not, not now. now. Nor is an entrance into it to be obtained by labor. Salvation is not by works. Eternal life is a free gift. Good works. Do not go before to prepare heaven for the saints, but follow after. All right. So now, words do come into place. All right, and that's that, that, that's after, but that that don't get you in, into heaven. All right. That 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 doesn't. Um, uh, but but after, but follow after. Nor is the saints' entrance into it a precarious thing. God has promised it and provided it for his people. Christ is in the possession of it and is preparing it for them. And the spirit of God is working them up for, uh, for the self same thing. All right. Okay, we're going, we're going to get there. All right, and then, then it goes to uh, verse 12. All right, so um, that, that breaks it down. 
that, that's deep, all right? That there's multiple places of rest, all right? So there is an eternal rest, all right? There is also uh, a, a place of rest that we can find here on, on earth, all right? The Sabbath, all right? We can go into a, a place of rest, and, and yes, that, that is a spiritual place, all right? All right, we can we we can um, enter a place of rest on the Sabbath day, like it doesn't matter where you are here on this earth. Okay, it doesn't necessarily have to be at, at a church or anywhere. It can be here on this farm. It can be in this home. It can be it can be someone. Guess what? Uh, a gentleman, uh, so someone could be locked up and in prison. Okay, and they, and they can still find a, a place of rest. On, on the Sabbath, all right? Okay, it, it, is, that, it is a spiritual place, all right? Remember, God is a spirit, and those that worship him must worship, worship him in spirit, spirit and truth. truth. And in truth, all right? Uh, you know, same, same thing with heaven, all right? And where we find our eternal rest. These are, yes, these are like spiritual, all right? And the thing is, there's more that is unseen than there is that that is seen. All right, I know, I know. Well, what do you want? Let's what do you want from me? You want to get down so you just run around, huh? Is that what you want? Well, I'm about to finish up. I'm not going to be much longer, okay? So just just bear with your dad, please. So let me go back to my NLT, please. And so, wow. All right, so we didn't build up this whole morning, and. I didn't even know what the key points were. We're trying. We we're trying to dive a little bit further into yeah. that rest. Okay, just a little bit further into that rest. I don't even know what to talk about for you tomorrow. Rest. Talk about the different types of rest. Okay. Uh -huh. um, mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. It's probably going to be hard to remember all that you just said. Mm hmm. It's fine. Uh, okay. And guess what? But, hey. Hey, babies. Um, like I said, so, sometimes, and for some people, they would say all the times, like this, <laughs> sit down, down at a table. Like, that's boring. They're just reading the Bible, that old boring book, and they're, they're just singing them old hymn rolls and stuff. They're not doing anything special. That's not cool. That's not fun. And But, but guess what? Um, you know, diving into this word, all right? As I said before, it's a time of devotion, and sometimes, um, man, it, I know it's a lot of repetition, I know it's also a lot of uh, d discovery, all right? Um, and sometimes we're digging and we're digging and we're digging, but do you always hit gold? No. No. All right? But we're still digging in faith, just like we had talked about in uh, in the book of uh, Proverbs. If, if someone told you, guess what? Especially the, the wealth that we have right here that's worth more than gold and silver. If someone told you that there was a buried treasure out here on this farm, even more so particularly right here in this backyard, y'all be going to get a shovel right now, wouldn't you? Yes. Yeah. But guess what? Would you give up after the first day? And you say, nah, I dug all day, but I, I didn't find anything. I found a couple of things, but I didn't, I didn't strike the gold. I didn't strike it rich. Would you give up after the first day? No. What about after the first week? You, you keep digging, all right? Because it's worth it, all right? He is worthy, all right? Worthy is the lamb who was slain, okay? Who was and is and is to come. Like, Jesus is worthy. And so, even beyond that, guess what? We, we learned uh, between... Uh, some some of the um, synonyms, how uh, sometimes it's synonymous in, in the old language between Joshua and and Jesus. Okay, and then I told you about uh, 
the, the correct uh, Hebrew name for Jesus, which was? Josh. Yeshua. 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 Okay. Yeshua. So guess what? There, there's some pretty cool things y'all learned this morning, aren't there? Yeshua. Yeshua. All right. The Latin name for um, Jesus is Jesus. Jesus? Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. So y'all learned some pretty awesome stuff today. All right. So, uh, if there's no questions, we'll still come back tomorrow and try to start at verse number 12. Okay? okay. Any questions, okay. babies? No, sir. No, sir. None's question. All right. Yeah, God is good now. Dad? Yes, dear. Tomorrow, are you going to have time to make pancakes? I don't know. Well, we're going to see, baby girl. All right? I got a lot going on. Can we have pancakes today if you don't have time? I, I, I've got to get ready to go pick up some sweet potatoes this morning. Today is a, a big day. A so, busy, busy um, day. So, we could do it. What are we doing? Uh, we, we're going to talk about that shortly. All right. Do you have any prayer requests? Yeah. No. Or are you praying for pancakes? <laughs> I like pancakes. Okay. All right. Do, do you have anything to add about the word? No. You want to add some pancakes to the word? No. All right. All right. Lord Jesus, we just want to thank you for this morning. Uh, thank you for, yes, uh, revealing yourself to us in, in an awesome and mighty way again. And, and knowing that, that you have a place of, of rest for us as well, dear, dear Jesus. There are multiple multiple places of rest, and, and yes, we, we just want to learn uh, more about what, what those are, uh, dear, dear Jesus, and as we draw closer to you. That yes, that there's a Sabbath, there's an eternal rest, uh, but there, there's also rest in you, uh, dear, dear Jesus, a, a, as well. That you are preparing our, our hearts for, and uh, we just want to thank you, uh, thank you for uh, allowing us to to draw closer, um, even right now. Uh, that thank you for. Uh, allowing us to get some some rest, you know, last night uh, allowed us to get some peace, uh, a joy and a peace that we know that we can only find in, in you, dear Jesus. And uh, we we know that yes, you you are you you are the answer, you you are the key uh, all all the day long, dear Jesus. And we just want to uh, honor you in, in everything that we do, our words, our actions, and, and our deeds. Uh, we love you, dear Jesus, and we thank you for making all things possible uh, by by and through you. In your precious name, amen. 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 Let the church say amen.